Hey y'all, it stopped drop and roll on. This thing is over my there is gone. Okay, as y'all number one, y'all y'all see the brown cotton ball is out. I don't it's the end of the day and I ain't putting on airs or nothing. This is it. I mean it's shrunk up because y'all know yesterday I washed it and all that. So that's just flat out. Let's get that over with. Psh, psh, psh shark in one uh, and i mentioned yesterday i will be talking about a whole bunch of different stuff and since i'm back to my limit 15 minutes i i'm trying to behave the other um hair stuff like i told y'all my hair suffered to the hip while i was gone a whole how do you go a whole year in the, Neglect, neglecting, I mean, I was combing my hair. Oh, I was bunalicious, let me tell you. And the bad part about it is, this thing here, this is like some little vintage case I found somewhere at some sale place or something. I think it's an old mirror K bag inside and all this. Look at that, like it's laying up in a little, I ain't going to say the word. But anyway, uh, you get the idea. One these things here I have to hide because ink steals these. I don't know what her problem is, but she can she can spot these things from a mile away. And she got loop dar, not to be confused with radar, loop dar. And when she can, that is the thievingest little cat I ever seen. But one of my friends um, got the bright idea, and God bless her. This look like, in and of itself, it looked like a, a flat-out toupee. That's just what it looked like, a bad one at that. Something from the 60s and the 70s. I just dated myself. Anyway, something from a while ago. And um, anyhow, she sent me this thing. So I have been, I'm fooling with it now because it's a drawstring on it somewhere. Honey, I have puffed every which way but loose. Uh, over ever since this thing came and then one day I had to write her a letter I didn't say email and I did not say nothing about texting I wrote a letter because it warranted it a, a letter and I told her me and the puff must part and this is what we call them puff she got one too and she went so far as to ask me what was my hair color and all this stuff. And I'm like, honey, please, I just go in there. And if I'm buying something to put braids in, I take the stuff and hold it up like this. If I'm going in there to do whatever, I take it and do it. I mean, I don't. Y'all know. So anyway, she sent me my own personal puff in the mail one day. So I just slicked my hair back. And it is true. You must move your situations. When you had this kind of stuff going on, let's put this back into the mausoleum. That's what I started to say a minute ago. And zip it up. I had to put this thing. And that's the reason why it's in here. I had to put it in this little case and put it in the steel, even then trying to escape. Look at that. That's a curl hanging out. Get yourself in there. I'm serious. I had to put this up and zip it closed. I just pulled it out to show it to y'all that this is part of the reason that neglect took place on the brown cotton ball. So I had to basically declare war on the puff. And so, oops, I'm sorry, I hit the table. I told her, I wrote her and told her I am declaring, I, I'm depuffing myself. I can no longer be puffalicious. Being puffalicious is dangerous. There done with the puff but I also noticed that my hair texture has changed I think I've always had fine hair but um I've always had a lot of volume I mean I've had volume and my hair and I've had length um I guess that's why I like with it being it's not as short you know as you think it is it's still I still got some hair you know but I just for some reason, toot toot pat and go on because I then I don't really have to think about it so much or whatever. I, a shrinkage don't bother me. I done told y'all that before. So anyway, but I noticed it seemed like I don't know if other people have noticed this or not, but my hair texture has changed. 
I thought your hair got more coarse when you got older, but my hair has gotten um finer and more soft, almost cat hairish. Well, no, I ain't gonna go that far in the name. No, I'm I'm not gonna claim that. But what I'm saying is the texture's changed. Enough of that. So what I decided, number one, I'm working on health and growth of the hair. Uh this is just some coconut oil. This is my kitchen coconut oil. I got coconut oil. You would think that I this is not anointing oil. It's coconut oil. But you the way I got it in every room, you would think that I'm in here putting it on doorposts, putting it down, you know, all of that. It's not like that. I got oil in here for my body. I got some oil for my hair. And this is this this particular one is the kitchen oil. This is the the one for in there for cooking in razzle dazzle but the reason why i've got it in here right this minute is because i know that some of this is iron i know that i need to bump up my iron because I, um i'm slow to sweat and quick to get cold and um so i have decided iron supplements and stuff like that kind of but um I did have this kelp here, and I'm walking about looking in my, and I ain't endorsing this brand. This is just happened to be what I got here. See, I had visited this obviously once before and fell down on the job. So now that I've been rehired, well, now that I'm straightening myself up and back to myself, you would think I had just got born, wouldn't you, the way I'm acting and talking but really well i kind of feel that way y'all don't understand but one day you will this says uh rich uh in natural iodine and supports thyroid function the iodine is what i'm going for I iodine and um iodine i want to see if this is going to make a difference on not only how i feel but also on the cotton ball. I, I have a feeling that I might be on something, but I'm. But the only way that I'm going to know is if I use the stuff, okay? And when I take, see how full that is? The thing says use two scoops. Now, I'm sitting up here thinking scoops, and then I, my mind went back to Raisin Bran, and that's a wrong trail to go down. This is the little scoop that comes in. Think, do y'all see how minuscule that is? I, that is just tiny, two scoops. So today, the thing on here says use two scoops, eat it with a meal. I had a hard time eating today. I only done, I ate uh, two raviolis, no, three raviolis and some tomato sauce. That's all I don't have today. I told y'all, y'all think I'm playing when I talk about food, but you, I ought to be as big as this thing. for the way that I have issues. In a minute, my phone line is ringing. My mom, have you eaten? Yeah, I'll be able to tell her about my consumption today. Anyway, as a dietary supplement, take two level scoops, which is 200 uh, milligrams, uh, preferably with meals. Consider taking this product in combination with uh, thyroid energy, which is something they sell, and L-tyrosine and organic virgin coconut oil. Now, I got the coconut oil here. So I got the bright idea of mixing two of these scoops and some coconut oil and just mixing it up and just scooping it up with the with a spoon, not this, and um taking it on down. Now I if something is good for me, usually I can do pretty good. And I, I have to say I earned my gold star today with this here because this tastes like I was working for Jacques Cousteau diving deep into the dirtiest ocean you could come up with, into the depths past Croc crocodiles might not be in deep water, but whatever's real, real low at the bottom of the place and getting the dirtiest shell you could come up with. The seashell with the algae on it that got something that looked like eyes on it and licking it. That's what they tasted like. And I stomached it and took it right on down. And guess what? I'm going to do it again tomorrow. I'm going to do it until this here situation is uh, empty. And if my results are what I think they're going to be, 
meaning vim and vigor and vitality, then I'm going to do it again, meaning I'm going to get another bottle and just keep the situation in the continuum going. Now, I've said it, and I've shared that. Another thing that um, I have been intrigued with is this big old book I got from Barnes & Noble, Country Wisdom and Know-How. Pierre hates when I say the word country. It actually just makes him upset. It really does. And I just told him, I was like this when you got with me. You're 20 plus years in, and this is the way it's going to be. Now, you're going to have to just bring it on down. Now, I ain't going to even say a notch or two. I'm talking about that decibel need to come down about 10 notches. I am what I am, as Popeye used to say. And that's just the way it is. I don't have no problem with myself. I really don't. Anytime I have had any type of issues with myself, self or self-esteem wise and all that. And I heard you today, Miss Cutie, misbehaving. You are right. You right on target, kid, with that video you put up. Um, have been at the hand of strangers. Cause my family have been nothing they have really been supportive. It's been people on the outside that have made me kind of get a little like, hmm, maybe I do need to, I'm I'm fine. I'm doing all right. I sure am. I talked to the lady, though, because this is, as y'all can tell, this, this is a paperback book. This was torn like this. And I had to tell her, you have to give me a discount anyway, because this book is torn. I've come to buy something new. I want it to be in good shape. So she gave me 10% off, okay, which is good enough, because the problem is, I already know, by the time I get through with this book, it might be like that my Bible. One of these days, I'm going to show y'all my Bible, the one that goes. It's in another room because it goes from room to room with me. Part is Genesis. Wait. It starts with the 19th chapter of Genesis. Now, I think all the other 18 chapters is wiped away. And part of the concordance is on the back of it. It's just gone. I think it ends at S or something. So from T on forward, it's just gone. Okay, this is it. It's got all kinds of stuff. Y'all see how done marked? I haven't had the little book long, but it's a lot of stuff in here about gardening. It tells you, get your hands dirty. Put your back into it. How to raise chickens. Pierre has already thumbs down on the chickens. So I don't mean no chickens in my future. I'm glad I got to uh, experience that when I was younger. Because if I had a little, just a little anything in here of wanting to do chickens, he squashed it. He said no. And I was like, one? He was like, who has one chicken in their yard? Well, he has a point there. So let's go for two. And he was like, now I can see where this is going. He's told me. He said, it ain't never been my dream to live on no farm. That's all you. And you might as well just have a memory. We're going to go get a book, and you can read about it. So here we go. In here also, y'all, is health and, uh, is that say with? a oh, well-being. Uh, it's got a recipe in here for brain tea, bone tea, thigh root revive. Wait a minute. Oh, something fell over there. It was my um, briefcase fell. Oh, why am I talking about that? It don't matter. Uh, hearts ease tea, heart and soul tonic. And then there are mail order sources for herbs and all this. Y'all, the book is, it kind of reminds you of an almanac in a way. Cold tarragon soup. Yes, recipes is all up in here. If you got a little dog, it's got recipes for how to make Fido some biscuits. Uh, well, snacks or whatever you want to call them. It tells you how to make, um, I don't, just anything. Dill pickles and chutney and refrigerator, uh, what is that? I had, pickle beets is one of my favorites, and that's in here. Okay, so I just wanted to. This book is Country Wisdom and Know How. Who wrote this book? It say Editors of Story Books, and it's resources and everything. Let me hold it up so y'all can see it for yourself. Y'all, this is an interesting book. It's not one that I will introduce to my book club. I do have a cyber book club. We get together in Skype. It's mostly my people, but it's it's a fun time had by all. They won't be reading this because they already think I'm out here in some instances and they like nobody thinking about starting no garden but you. Nobody, I'm going to have to do another video because I do want to show y'all my seeds. But anyway, that's it for 
the brown cotton ball and things such as that. Toodles. Uh oh. Wait. 